I got your Unlock the Game in 2004. Really? And uh, when it was the CDs. And wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I loved what you were what you were saying then and uh, re-stumbled on you on LinkedIn just recently. And I saw a video. I'm a coach. And I saw a video where you were talking about coaching and how um, I do discovery calls. And you, in the, in the discovery call, you it's revealed the, the, you know, what you called it was the iceberg. And when you said it in this video, I'm going like, yeah, but how do you, what are the questions to get to the bottom of the iceberg? It's, and, and to get the truth. And, you know, they'll come in in all different kinds of ways, but are there questions that, you know, nail it down, focus it down to the truth in a real honest way um, that's effective and, 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 and maybe, you know, is it the same every time or do you, how do you think about that? Okay, great question, by the way. This is the core of my new book coming out, uh, hopefully later on this year, called The One Call Sale, which is a new level of uh, system I created recently with my clients on how to compress the sales cycle into one conversation. So the iceberg is one piece of that process, and the iceberg is the beginning part of the conversation where your job is to peel the onion back to really go deep around their problems. Because as you know, typically when we have a first call with somebody, they give us what I call service level issues just basic problems at the top of the iceberg that they want us to kind of provide answers for but really the goal is not to go forward towards a solution the goal is to go to amplify the issue to have them own the issue and make sure it's a priority before you go to the next step so here are the questions you ask to begin to go down the iceberg okay you, let's just assume it's a zoom call for instance uh, with a lead you're a coach first call they're a business owner they're on the zoom call with you you say hello nice to meet you nice to meet you as well and here's how you begin by the way there's no chit chat after that no relationship building no side talk no how's the weather how's new york no, nothing like that straight into this question because you're the doctor they're the patient here's what you say you say ask permission if it's okay with you can we take a step back for a moment and can you walk me a bit through your background your story your current business model and your challenges that you're working on right now and we'll go from there would you be okay with that you start there which puts the ball in their court then they start telling you about their situation their problems what would be one classic problem that you would hear from someone that you would imagine hearing from a classic can't get good help okay can't, can't get good staff right All right so here's what you'd say to begin going down the iceberg under that problem you say this you say can you tell me a little bit more about that you just sit there and you wait to let them begin to unpack and describe what they mean by that and then believe it or not, they will just start talking. They'll start telling you, well, I got bad people, da, 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 whatever. Then you're going to say this. You're gonna, next question is this. How long mm. has it been a problem for? Next question. What have you done so far to try and fix this? Next question. What has been the impact to you and your business by not being able to solve this problem? Last question. Is this a priority for you to finally address and solve once and for all? Or is something you're happy to address later on down the road? And I'm okay either way. Those are the levels of the basic questions to peel back and unpack and go to the bottom of the iceberg. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great to have you back in the fold again. Reach out and say hello, okay? <laughs> I will. Thanks. Take care. I got